time. It's the second day in a row. It looks as if Death Valley actually broke its record of hottest official temperatures for the day. Can you believe it? Kirsten Joyce joins us now with more details on that. Kirsten. Ted, we did break another record in Death Valley for the day. It was set back in 2001 of 124. We reached 127. Keep in mind these results still need to be verified by an expert panel of specialists, but the National Weather Service says yesterday Death Valley recorded a high temperature of 130, and when verified, it will mark the hottest temperature recorded on Earth in over 100 years. The temperatures are measured at the Visitor Center in Furnace Creek using an automated observation system. Now, the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth was in Death Valley July 10th of 1913 and it measured 134. Dan Burke with the National Weather Service says he doesn't think it's likely we'll hit 134 this season, but he says every time the temperatures at Death Valley get close to 127, 128, while well, the phone starts ringing. He's been on the phone nonstop since this morning talking with European agencies, Japanese agencies. It's certainly getting a lot of attention. For August, we're already on pace to be the hottest August ever, although we still have another 14 days. He also adds this extended heat wave is really an anomaly because he says in mid-August, we no longer have the most sun that we normally have. And to see these kinds of temperatures this late in the season is extremely rare. Now, Death Valley is the sum in the summer is really popular with European tourists. We chatted with the front desk at the Oasis at Death Valley, and the gal tells me she's received a ton of calls today from journalists. She says their occupancy is less than 30% right now with some international guests. And she says those who checked in had no idea about the heat wave we were in for this week and apparently found it quite amusing. Brian.